You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, Internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. Sometimes riders feel lost, unsure why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our riding into full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable riders to develop and grow, offering manuscript critiques and line edits through a mentoring editorial style. We also offer assistance on generating a rider's bio for your websites. Black Wolf Editorial Services, nurturing your riding into maturity. For a full list of services, visit blackwolfeditorial.com. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. Did you just look down at your phone? You did it again, didn't you? You know, you're flying down the road in a three-ton hunk of steel, and a text takes your eyes off the road for an average of five seconds. At 55 miles per hour, that's long enough to travel the length of a football field and cause some serious damage. Turn it off. Trust me. Whatever it is, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. Okay, forest animals, kids are coming to the forest, and it's up to us to make their visit a good one. Sparrow, have you practiced the most popular bird songs for the year? Of course. Catchy. I like it. River, how's the temperature? It's a refreshing 52 degrees, man. I love it. Uh, Turtle. He's not here yet, man. Uh, He's late every morning. Okay. Squirrel. The forest has been preparing just for you. To learn more about cool things to do in the forest, visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. I am incredibly, incredibly proud to be a physician here at St. Jude. To be in a place where I know my patients are going to get the top-notch care. Not only care, but also research happening 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Every single person that contributes is a part of that St. Jude family that makes that happen. Because of everyone that is really committed to the mission of St. Jude, we're giving families hope. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down your business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-783-0810 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-783-0810. Again, that's 800-783-0810. You're listening to the Spark Radio Network, internet radio like you've never heard before. Innovation, creativity, and imagination 
are all said to begin with a spark. So fasten your seatbelt and take the ride of your life and listen for the spark. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. This is America Off the Rails. Wait, I'm not Rick. No, I'm not. Congratulations, you figured out. I'm not Rick. This is Jesse of Jesse's POV. I'm sitting in for Rick tonight. And this is going to be interesting. Because, as you know, I don't normally talk U.S. politics. But, as usual... There's a few things that have got me with my blood boiling. What are we going to talk about? Well, we are actually going to go back to the border debate. Yep. Border debate. We are going to talk a little bit (coughs) about the Iran nuclear deal and the fact that Trump said he's willing to sit down with Iran, but Iran said, (coughs) not going to happen. And... We are going to talk a little bit about some of the other goings-on up at Capitol Hill and 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Now, I'm going to try and run this show like Rick does. So, we're going to take a brief commercial break and be right back to start the show properly. Just as soon as I can remember which buttons I'm supposed to be pushing. All right. See you in about a minute so we can actually start the show the right way. My son was in the Army back during Desert Storm, but even then he wanted an MBA. He looked at a dozen schools, but only one offered the online education and flexibility he needed while he was in a tent in Iraq. Grantham University. Turns out that Grantham's been delivering affordable, relevant college and advanced degrees for over 65 years. Heck, if they can deliver a quality education to a soldier in a tent overseas, think about the flexibility Grantham can offer you so you can earn your degree too. It doesn't matter how complicated or full your life is. If getting a degree is on your bucket list, you'll want to do what my son did. You'll want to call Grantham. Find out how easy it is to get started on your education so you can check that college degree off your bucket list. Call Grantham right now. 800-910-1370. That's 800-910-1370. Flexible. Affordable. Relevant. Call 800-910-1370. All right. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Now, I've got couple of audio clips I'm going to say. We're going to talk about the border. And I'm going to state right up front, my position is a country without a border is not a country. I fully support our law enforcement, especially our ICE, who do some of the toughest jobs out there. All right, here's some of Trump's comments 
about the border. As you know, I recently deployed the National Guard to the southern border. And I want to thank each of the governors here tonight. They've all been extremely helpful. They've sent a lot of people to those borders, and we appreciate it very much. We're also working with Congress to close the crippling loopholes in federal law, especially the disgraceful practice of catch and release. That's where you catch somebody, talk to them, sign them, and then you have to release them. And it's a horrible situation. They're supposed to then show up to court a very small percentage show up to court. And what happens is they get lost in our country. And in some cases, these are not people that you want in the country. Now, I agree. There's a very small percent that actually show up to court once we do catch and release because, quite frankly, they want to be here or they wouldn't have risked their lives trying to get here. And yes, I do mean risk their lives. Now, why do I say risk their lives? Well, because, quite frankly, the illegal border crossing is harrowing. I've studied it. I've watched different things about it. And there is no need to risk your life if you truly want to come to this country. Now, I'm going to remind you what President Trump said back in January during the State of the Union. He had four pillars that I agree with. All right, let's take a listen. The first pillar of our framework generously offers a path to citizenship for 1.8 million illegal immigrants who were brought here by their parents at a young age. That covers almost three times more people than the previous administration covered. All right, so he wants to offer a path to citizenship to the quote-unquote dreamers. Under our plan, those who meet education and work requirements and show good moral character will be able to become full citizens of the United States over a 12-year period. All right, they're not going to get fast-tracked. They're not going to get sent to the front of the line. It's going to take them 12 years, and the average is 8 to 10 years to become a U.S. citizen. All right, let's talk about the wall. It's a very contentious issue. People are saying if we build a wall, we're evil. I don't agree with that. If we build a wall, we're looking out for our country. That means building a great wall on the southern border. Yep. Crucially, our plan closes the terrible loopholes exploited by criminals and terrorists to enter our country. And it finally ends the horrible and dangerous practice of catch and release. I don't agree with catch and release, and I don't agree with the loopholes. The biggest loophole is chain migration. The fourth and final pillar protects the nuclear family by ending chain migration. By nuclear family, your father, your mother, no. Your wife, your kids, yes. Under the current broken system, a single immigrant can bring in virtually unlimited numbers of distant relatives. Under our plan, we focus on the immediate family by limiting sponsorships to spouses and minor children. This means you can't bring in Cousin Bob, but you can bring in your kids and your spouse. Now, there are a lot of things that go on with the border. There really are. And a lot of them we never talk about. In fact, I've got a clip from today from President Trump about the border. Let's take a listen. 
As far as the border is concerned, and personally, if we don't get border security, after many, many years of talk within the United States, I would have no problem doing a shutdown. It's time we had proper border security. We're the laughing stock of the world. We have the worst immigration laws anywhere in the world. And I've looked at our immigration laws, and I've looked at some of the others. We do need to move to a merit-based system like President Trump proposed. And here's what he said back at the State of the Union. It's time to begin moving toward a merit-based immigration system, one that admits people who are skilled, who want to work, who will contribute to our society, and who will love and respect our country. Now, those who come here and they want to maintain their little culture and their exact same way of life as they had back in their country. Womp womp, fail. You don't want to come here. Really. You just want to come here because, well, you may have... You may not have a good job in your country. You don't love this country. You want to take advantage of our welfare system. I'm sorry. Immigrants, legal or illegal, should not be allowed to steal American taxpayer dollars. Point blank. These illegal immigrants who cross the border and then, under the guise of taking care of their children, qualify for WIC and housing and other taxpayer welfare programs, it is just plain wrong. It is absolutely wrong. And it needs to be stopped. The plan that allows that should be blown up. Now, as far as shutting down the government, yes, shutting down the government over border security. Guess what? The whole government doesn't shut down. And I'm tired of Congress not getting off their six o'clocks and actually doing their flipping job. You know what? It's time to pass better laws. The voters turned out and gave the Republicans the Senate, the House, and the White House. Yeah, we might need 60 votes for certain things, and I don't necessarily know that I want to see the nuclear option used because then it can be turned around and used against us. You know, the elimination of the filibuster and the elimination of 60 votes to bring something to the floor. I don't necessarily want to see that. But what I do want is a safe and secure country. I don't want to constantly see things about drugs and tunnels under our borders. You know what? I can pick up a story out of Israel and read the exact same comments. And guess what they have over there? Terrorism. You can pick up a newspaper at least once a week and read about a terrorist attack on their soil. Yes. And I'm sorry. A country that has terrorist attacks doesn't have a good economy because businesses are terrified. Nobody wants to go out and shop. Nobody wants to go out and spend. People stay home to stay safe. Is that what you want in your country, the United States of America? I don't think so. I'm willing to say it's not what you want. All right, I believe I have blown through at least one commercial break. So, I loaded all kinds of things into the soundboard, but I forgot all the bumper music. So, give me a second. We're going to grab some bumper music. 
And we are going to take a brief commercial break. Remember, this is Rick's show. He does lots of little two-minute breaks. And then we're going to talk about the insanity of some of the liberals. And yeah, I've got the liberal hysteria track queued up. Boy, do they make me mad. I just usually don't talk about it. Well, guess what? Tonight, I'm talking about it. All right, found some bumper music. This fits my mood. And I will see you in two and a half minutes. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. for hanging in there with us while we paid those radio station bills. Now, I mentioned something before the break about the liberal insanity. Yeah, liberal hysteria, liberal insanity, it's out there. And quite frankly, I'm sick of it. Let's take a listen to the little compilation of stuff that Rick's put together. And we'll talk about some of it, but first, here's the ultimate in liberal insanity. In terms of the bonus that corporate America received versus the crumbs that they are giving to workers to kind of put the schmooze on, is so pathetic. It's so pathetic. Okay, $1,000 in most homes isn't a crumb. And Nancy Pelosi? 
<laughs> just, just when, when I, think I think you've, you've said, said the stupidest, stupidest thing, thing ever, ever, you keep talking. Yep, just when I think you've done stuck your foot in it, as far as it'll go, you keep talking. No, really. Now, that's not all Pelosi's been up to. Remember I was talking about the immigration situation? Well, she's shooting her mouth off on that, too. A little child born with a, defe a birth defect or a heart uh, challenge for a lifetime will have a pre-existing medical condition. And the Republicans think it's funny that they're going to remove that benefit uh, from the health care. So okay, so she's talking about health care. Well, fine, I'll switch topics with you, Pelosi. You know what? The government forcing anybody to buy anything is illegal, and the thing should have been deemed unconstitutional. No, really, it should have. And you know why it should have? I don't know why it wasn't, but it wasn't. It should have been deemed unconstitutional. Because nowhere in the United States Constitution... Does it give the grant the government the authority to make you buy anything? Whatever happened to life, liberty, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Well, guess what? The pursuit of happiness does not trump all. I'm sorry. It does not. And whatever happened to treating people with respect and dignity? Well, you know what? If, and for you regular listeners of my show, let's talk health care again just a minute. If you listen to my show, you've heard not one, but at least two children now have been allowed to die because their life support was removed by the state. Oh, yeah. Removed by the state. Yeah, you didn't know that one, did you? Yeah. It was removed by the state. Because they deemed that the child made, would have no quality of life. They made that decision. They took the decision away from the parents. Is that the kind of country you want? Because they have state-run health care over there. So is that the kind of health care you want? Where parents don't have a say over their child's medical experience? And the state can step in and say, Oh, well, this child is going to have no quality of life so they ought to die a quote unquote dignified death in a hospital surrounded by healthcare workers with police guards outside their door well if that's what you want you just keep right on pushing this Obamacare crap and this Medicare for all cause that's what's going to happen now I don't agree with everything, with ending everything. There are parts of the Obamacare law I do agree with. There are parts. But men should not have to pay a higher premium that covers women's birth control pills. Birth control pills are about 25 to 30 dollars a month. And if you can't afford them, you go to your county health agency and guess what? You can get them even cheaper. Oh yeah. There are already things in place. We don't need higher premiums.
We don't need it. We don't need higher premiums just because you want, quote unquote, free birth control. Guess what? Somebody's already paying for it. All right, we are at the bottom of the hour, so we are going to take yet another brief commercial break. And let's see. Just getting the. Just got a lot more stuff in my audio files than I'm used to. We're going to take three minutes this time, and I will see you on the other side. I keep swinging for the fences. It's like this heart is defenseless. I get some passion that's pumping through my veins. Blood, sweat, tears, it's a calling. And if I can't walk, then I'm crawling. It might flicker, but they can't kill the flame. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk, or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. 687. Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. To get your free inventor's information, call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. Swinging for the fences It's like this heart is defenseless I get some passion that's pumping through my veins Blood, sweat, tears, it's a calling And if I can't walk, then I'm crawling It might flicker, but they can't kill the flame All right, and again, you are back on a special episode of America Off the Rails where Jesse just kind of snuck in behind the microphone. Now, we were talking... Healthcare before the break. Well, I found an outstanding audio clip from Chuck Schumer that we are going to have to play. Republicans gave big tax breaks to insurance companies, but premiums keep going up. We Democrats want to use the additional weeks in August 
to reverse those policies that so hurt the middle class. Without action, this August, in the fall, middle class families are going to have their pockets picked by insurance companies with the aid and help of our Republican friends in the Senate and the President. Working through August gives us the perfect opportunity to tackle this pressing issue, health care. Now, remind, here's why McConnell canceled the Senate August recess. I think he mentions it in this clip. As you may have heard, uh, I've canceled the August recess. We have a lot of important work uh, to do. As a result of unprecedented obstruction, for example, we've had 100 cloture votes in the first uh, two years of this president, only 24 cloture votes in the first two years of the last six presidents on nominations. In addition to that, the president's made it quite clear he doesn't intend to sign another omnibus. And in order to prevent that, obviously, we should uh, do our work, which is to pass individual appropriation bills. Uh, Chairman Shelby and Senator Leahy, I think, have a very uh, cooperative relationship. All right. So instead of an omnibus bill where you can hide all kinds of things like the roof for the community center in fill in the blank city that has nothing to do with anything. And omnibus is a broken system. It is supposed to be individual appropriations bills. Those two agendas don't sound like they're going to mix. I'm sorry, but you, now you can talk health care under the guise of budgets. Please, by all means, talk about the budget, budget for the VA. Because they sure need all the help they can get. In fact, for listeners of my show, Jesse's POV, you know that last uh, uh, tonight I discussed a young lady that does an annual lemonade stand for one week every summer. She takes a week out of her summer and does a lemonade stand. Why? To donate money to the VA because they need it. Now, Larry Kudlow had some things to say. Trump's trying to fix this broken system. It was a good system. I agree with you. And it lasted for a bunch of decades. But that system has been broken in the last 20 years plus. The World Trade Organization, for example, has become completely ineffectual. And even when it makes decisions, even in the rare moments when it makes decisions, important countries don't even abide by them. So you're right about that framework from the mid-1940s on. I think it worked beautifully. I think free world trade is a very good thing indeed. But it is. How can you call it free world trade when if we pay, tw- if we sell a car to China, it's a 25% tax. That sure doesn't sound like free world trade to me. That sounds like Texas tariffs, regulations, rules, and let's stick it to the Americans. Yep. Now, back to the Senate August recess for a minute. Here's McConnell, McConnell's short-term priorities for the Senate. In the short term, uh, we're going to turn to the uh, defense authorization bill uh, and the farm bill uh, before uh, the one week around uh, July 4th. In addition to that, we're trying to get time agreements on the FAA bill, on the water infrastructure bill. Uh, All of these we need to be uh, trying to uh, process. Uh, between now and the July recess. So that's the schedule uh, for the next few months. Now, guess what? The Senate has a lot to do. In fact, I'm going to quote KLR and Radio's own clips lady, who has made almost all of these clips and gone a little crazy having to listen to both sides of the aisle, but I thank her very much and can't wait till she resumes her duties. No offense, Station Manager Ann, you just ain't keeping up. But we need Nanny McPhee to go in and straighten them out in the Senate. They think 
that they can sit on their six o'clock, not do their jobs, not do their work, and still take their vacations? I'm glad somebody finally stuck them in the corner and said, nope, you're not getting your vacation. I don't care that a third of you are up for re-election. I don't care. Because guess what? The House has done its job. There are hundreds of bills that have been passed by the House that have not even received a look by the Senate. Do you know why? Obstruction, obstruction, obstruction. Well, you know what? Constantly resisting and just resisting for the point purpose of resisting is what brings about things like we can't get anybody in the uh, in the in the offices that we need to run this country now there are so many things that need to happen in the senate There are so many things that we need to fix. Immigration. The budget. This omnibus or cromnibus or whatever you want to call it, this budget catastrophe bill that is so many thousands of pages long it gets thrown on the senator's desk without enough time to read it. And if you want proof of that, check check, uh, Rand Paul's feed. Because... He tried to read the thing. He couldn't. And that's called doing his job. He at least tried. Most senators didn't even bother. They checked the few items they cared about and the rest of it. Somebody else can read it. It's called they weren't doing their bloody jobs. Now. There is a lot of things going on. There are so many things going on. You know what? I want the government to make sure that the water that comes out of my tap is safe to drink. I want the government to make sure that the people coming across our borders don't intend us harm. I want planes to fly through the air without crashing into each other. Yeah, I want the FAA to be funded. I want ICE to be funded. I want, to an extent, the EPA. What I don't want is EPA overreach where they can tell some farmer what he can do with a a puddle in his backyard. Because it's quote-unquote navigable. It ain't navigable by anything other than the local duck. And EPA overreach has long been a thing. It has long been a thing. EPA overreach is only getting worse. And we will take that up in just a few moments. But what I can tell you is there have been A lot of things that have happened under the guise of the EPA. EPA will enforce limits on glider kits. What does a glider have to do with the Environmental Protection Agency? Can anybody tell me? Trucks using glider kits combine a new truck chassis with an older truck built engine. And it's used to avoid emission regulations. Well, guess what? Maybe if the emissions regulations weren't so bad, and guess what? We need tractor trailers in this country. We need them to get groceries to the grocery store. And goods and sir goods throughout the land. All right, we are going to take a commercial break. And I will see you on the other side. I keep 
swinging for the fences. It's like this heart is defenseless against a passion that's pumping through my veins. Blood, sweat, tears, it's a calling. And if I can't walk, then I'm crawling. It might flicker, but they can't kill the flame. Most writers and radio show hosts know that to connect with your fans, you need to do more than just write books or record the latest podcasts. There are many different elements that go into forming an online platform, but there are also many hidden traps. To make matters worse, solid advice on how to survive the muddy waters is scarce. In the book Hidden Traps, I talk about some of the important issues of working with an online platform, highlighting traps that could put your physical or internet security at risk or be harmful to your reputation. Are your social media posts just links with a few disjointed words making you look like someone who can't complete a sentence? Did your new website cost you more than you anticipated? Are you leaking your personal contact details across the web without even knowing it? Then you need Hidden Traps. Hidden Traps is now available in paperback and ebook from a variety of retailers, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Kobo. Visit blackwolfpublications.com for more details. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-553-8687. That's 800-553-8687. Again, 800-553-8687. Here's George Foreman with InventHelp. Hi, I'm George Foreman. Do you have an idea for a new product or invention? People ask me all the time, George, how do I get my idea in front of companies? How do I get a patent? What do I do next? Do you have the same questions? I'll tell you like I'll tell them all. Call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been helping inventors for more than 30 years and has sales offices nationwide. InventHelp can submit your invention to companies who are interested in receiving new ideas. If you have an idea and want to try to patent it and submit it to companies, you should call InventHelp today for free information. Listen, I can't guarantee a company will be interested in your idea, but I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. Get your free inventor's information. Call 1-800-353-6490. That's 1-800-353-6490. Again, 1-800-353-6490. Thank you for hanging in there with me. While we took that last commercial break, and I cured my hiccups for those of you that were paying close attention. Yes, I was trying to talk between hiccups. That doesn't work. All right. I want to have air conditioning. I don't want to swelter. Well, in 1987, there was a thing, something called the Montreal Protocol. It was an agreement to put phase chlorofluorocarbons or CSCs out of production. Now CFC 11 was the most dangerous. It was eating away. Studies in the 1990s found that HFCs hydrofluorocarbons had zero impact on ozone. 2015 said now, a NASA study said the ozone depletion sa- factor of HFCs isn't nothing but isn't cause for alarm. But there, there's other chlorofluorocarbons 
that are really eating things away at things. What would you say if I said the, the world's second largest penguin colony has collapsed? Yeah, I know. I love my penguins. Even when Secretary of Defense Mattis talks about finding peng bomb sniffing penguins. I love them. Alright. Well. And yes, that is the sound of freedom. A.K.A. a helicopter going overhead. Welcome to my new military base. They have helicopters. Narrow that one down. During a recent work, working group of parties to the Montreal Protocol, which included China, the ozone, the emissions of the ozone chemi eating chemical CFC-11 have been rising since 2013. CFC-11 is one that America no longer uses. And the Montreal Protocol has been hailed as one of the few global environmental success stories. But guess what? China's breaking it. And no one is talking about it. Meanwhile, our EPA wants to tell Farmer Brown what he can do with the puddle in his backyard. So guess what? All you environmentalists, until you can get China to stop dumping crap in the oceans putting out toxic chemicals that eat holes in the ozone and other developing nations to regulate something? Yeah. You remember the Beijing Olympics? Well, they had to shut down factories two and three weeks in advance to try and clear the air so the athletes could breathe. Oh, yeah. That's what they did. So you could get that pretty picture of the skyline. Now, I don't want our skyline to look like theirs. And God knows, I don't want what's going on in Michigan. And you're looking at me like, Michigan? Yep, there's another problem in Michigan with drinking water. When will it end? Michigan's officials have declared a state of emergency after a city's drinking water supply was found to be tainted with a harmful non-stick chemical. The discovery of a substance known as PFAS that I'm not even going to try and pronounce was found in Parchment, Cooper Township and Cooper Township near Kalamazoo. Now, this is the kind of thing I want the EPA in on. Test results last week as part of a statewide effort to test water for PFAS found 1,587 parts per trillion of the substance in parchment's water. The maximum standard is 70 parts per trillion. So 1,587 is well above standard safe. Parchment is the latest area to have this problem. Communities in New York, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, and North Carolina, North Carolina have had this problem in the past. That's what I want the EPA doing. Making sure the water that comes out of our tap is safe. Okay? I don't want them telling Farmer Brown what to do with the creek out back. You know, that little creek that you, the only thing it can, that can navigate it is the kid's battery-powered sailboat? Yeah. Well, that's what the EPA has been trying to do in the past. time they stop that and focus on what's getting into our water. And since we're on the subject of water, 
A recent test showed that 6.9 parts per billion of lead at a plant, a water treatment plant, existed. If lead is present in the water itself before entering the dis distribution center system that carries water to about 16,000 area residents, that's a problem. Eight out of ten times, I will say this data is false, but that's the kind of stuff the EPA should be doing. EPA, get your nose out of Farmer Brown's water to feed his cows. I mean, I'm sorry. But Congress needs to get off their six, do their jobs, and pass real reform legislation. They need to pass an actual budget the way it was meant to be, with separate bills. Not this one big giant omnibus. that no one knows what's in it. They need to actually get their work done. And as far as democratic socialism, we will have to talk about that on another show. Because, yeah, I started a few minutes late, but you know what? I'm tired. And I am definitely going to end the show here. And we will see you again. I promise I will do at least one more AOTR this week. And shh, don't tell Rick. But I might actually try and rec get up early and record him on air. And put some audio clips from him in his own show. Alright, I'm gone.